Welcome to Science Academy. I'm Dench and today I want to present you a software called GNUplot. This software is the go-to software for me in the lab when I want to plot my data that I measured in the lab and want to fit functions through it and also ex uh, want to export this nice looking graphs as a PNG or PDF file to bring into my homework or my papers or whatever you want to use it for. So in the end of this like 10 minute course, you will be able, first of course, you have to install the program on your computer. In the end, it should look like this. So it's a command line based uh, software. You can put in your commands and it will execute it. So for example, you can just print something like three plus four and it will give you seven or you can set a constant like a equals two and then print a plus seven, which should give you out nine, right? So you can use it as a kind of handy calculator as well. Um, you can also use some constants that are implemented in the software like e or pi, or plot some functions that are implemented like with a plot command, like plot sign from x give you a nice looking plot of a sign from x. Of course, these functions could be yeah, way more complex than this. Let's just maybe look at um, plot sine x divided by cosine x. And as well, there's this really nice looking window that opens, which is called the WXT window um, implemented in GluePlot. So you can yeah, look at some random function that you don't that you want to know how they look and you don't know it. Um, but for more complex things, uh, you should always use a GNUplot script, which is a, just a plain text file uh, where you put the commands in line by line. So you can also change something that you did before, which is not possible when you are just typing in the terminal. So Let's start with uh, a change directory, directory command and change a directory in your working directory. Um, for this, you don't have to enter this directory for every file you want to access, but every file put into this folder, uh, you can just um, access by name. But still, we can just put in our commands here, so for example, plot sign x. And now we load this um, gnuplot script in uh, to gnuplot and it will execute the file. For this, you can just drag and drop it as you just saw, drag drop onto gnuplot, right? I have a data um, sheet here. So an example data sheet with three rows, different measurement values if you want. So it doesn't matter where they come from right now. And we want to plot them. So we can, instead of this using one against two should give us exactly what we just saw, right? We saw the first row against the second row. So first row on the X axis, second row on the Y axis. This is what we saw, see here, but we can change this to, for example, one, three. And if you look again at the data, the third row is going up from one roughly to seven. So that's what we should see right now. So save it again, load it again. And now we see one plotted against three. So this is really nice uh, to plot whatever you want against each other. And you can even do some uh, math with those rows. So you can say not one again, three, but, but for example, uh, row one against row, uh, let's say three divided by 50, right? So the uh, dollar symbol here is the sign for the row, which you want to, to do math with. And you can go even further and say row three, times three uh, divided by row six or something, right? You can do whatever you like here. So yeah, with this, you can do a lot. So even unit conversion and stuff like that directly when you load the data in. You can also add um, um, data. What we can do now is to start and make it look nicer. So first let's add a grid. So just enter a set grid on the command line or in your script and it will enter a nice looking grid. Grid. You can change the position and the size of the grid, but this is more advanced. Uh, set grid most of the time looks nice enough. 
you can of course um, set the range of the axis. So with a set X range from zero to one, you get your X uh, axis from zero to one. You can do the same for the Y axis, uh, set Y range, for example, um, at the moment you see it's uh, 25 because it was best looking for GNU plot uh, standards. But now we have from 0 to 15 or you can change it from 0 to 30, whatever you like. You can even put some function into here if you want to. So now 0, 30 as you see, uh, can see. Um, what we can also do is to add some names to the axis. This is be done with the X and Y label command. And after that, you just put a string with whatever you want to um, name your axis, like set X label distance and meter, six, uh, set Y label power in milliwatts, save, load the file again, and you see nice labels on the axis. On the top right, you see that the label for the graphs is not so nice looking. So next step, maybe let's change this. We can change this with uh, adding titles to our data points. So title and then a random string. Title, for example, data set one. Title, data set two, just into the plot command. And you will see Again, save and load that this change to dataset one and dataset two. You can even suppress the title completely if you don't want it with just saying no title instead. So no title, save, load, and you will see dataset one is suppressed completely. Let's do that with both. Um, I think it's looks the best if the data points doesn't have titles, but the fitted function through the data points in the end have the title. And uh, best is to just put the fit function uh, into the title. So let's create the fit function. You, you saw it might be just the linear fit might be best for those data points I, I gave you. So let's create two functions, two linear functions, f from x and g from x with the fitting parameters a1, b1 and a, um, a2, b2. And now let's fit f from x against data txt using 1, 2. With the and if we now also correct our small little math error here, so a1, b1, a2, b2 are our parameters, then GNUplot fits the parameters uh, nicely to the data set. And you see here the fitted functions plotted um, in this WXT window. We can now uh, yeah, make it a bit nicer with uh, changing the colors. So. For this, there's the LT command, which is a line type. So we can choose a line type RGB colors blue and uh, the corresponding data set uh, line type RGB blue. And we can do the same for example in red for the G. So just add in the plot command LT RGB red and LT RGB red also in the data set. Of course, there are other ways to um, have more colors available, but most of the time this is sufficient. Uh, how to look up those uh, other ways and get more info, I will show you in the end of this video. So now we get this nicely looking graph with red and blue um, just yeah fitting uh, to the data points and yeah, this is really nice, but still it's a WXT window. And in the end, we wanted to have a nice, for example, PNG file. For this, we have to change the terminal. Uh, so the output terminal for, uh, to PNG. So set terminal PNG before you do the plotting command. And now we set the output file uh, with whatever name we wanted to. So for example, set output first graph uh, PNG and uh, then we plot. So this plot will not be plotted uh, via the WXT window, but we see this nice PNG file here. 
Um, on Windows, it will be black the first time you try it because GNUplot has still um, access to the file. So you have to close GNUplot and then you will see this nice PNG file created. Um, you can also make it a bit bigger, so higher resolution. Just um, choose the option size between, uh, behind the set terminal command and put in whatever pixels you want to have. For example, 1024 uh, to 786. Um, again, start GNU plot because we closed it before. Load it again. So load the script again. Close GNU plot again. Here also you see the fit parameters, by the way, we will talk about that in a minute more, uh, in more detail. And here it's a bigger picture with the size we just gave the picture. So for the fitting parameters, there's this fit file, fit text file created during the fitting process. And in the end of this file, you will see the final set of parameters coming out of this iterations of the least uh, square fit final set of parameters for A1, B1 and on the bottom for A2, B2, uh, also with the asymptotic standard error. So you again, you get out the error out of this fit, which is really nice. And which uh, what, what I said in the beginning, which is really nice to do is just add a title name to this fit function, which consists of, um, of this um, final set of fit parameters. So F from X equals minus 40 x plus 28 point roughly 7 and we can do the same for the g from x so we go into the g from x fix fu fit function and add a title there and now on the left we have to scroll down to see the final set of parameters for a to b2 again also with the errors if you if we want and we can yeah, just give it the title. There's also an automatic way to do this, but this is a more advanced, advanced um, version, which I will not discuss in this video. So let's save it in the end, reload GNUplot and load the GNUplot script again. One moment. And the file will be rewritten. So close GNUplot again, open the file, and this time you will see on the top right the new labeling with the correct fit functions generated by ourselves. So this is also basically it. Here you have a nice looking graph, everything you need in a beginner's lab, for example. For more infos like line type, color, styles, how to change the ticks, um, how to make uh, in-between ticks, um, whatever you want to know, you can find out here. So check the documentary on gnuplotsourceforge.net or wait for the next videos from me to come. Yeah, that's it from my side. Um, have a great day and see you soon.